what's your what's your analysis of how far Putin can afford to go or would be willing to go in terms of conscription, uh, you know, a more broad draft of of Russian men into this fight? It's hard for us, I think, from the outside to understand the extent to which a leader in a very uh, autocratic system like Putin's Russia, um, how far they can go in terms of taking steps that actually might trigger public opposition in an environment where, where opposition has been so tightly controlled? Well, uh, you know, Putin, Putin has put himself in a position where it's difficult for him to do anything than double down on the special military operation. I've said for since the start that Putin is not interested in an off ramp. He wants to achieve the goals of the special military operation, denazify and demilitarize Ukraine. He has a long time horizon. He is willing, uh, on behalf of the Russian people, to impose enormous costs on Russia to achieve those objectives. Um, it's, it's a messianic view he has of Russia and himself. He views this as a civilizational struggle. They use that term in describing their their conflict against the collective West, which in their mind is the United States and all of the so-called vassal states that in their mind we control. They're, they published a paper, they, they call it the concept of their foreign relations, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs published it a couple of months ago. And on the very first page, it talks about the civilizational struggle between Russia and the Russian people and the decadent uh, West that is on a steep, steep decline. So I believe Putin and those around him both believe it, uh, but even if they don't, they are committed to it and they can't pull back now. He can't pull back now. He doesn't have the option to just decide, as Lyndon Johnson did in 1968, after the Tet Offensive, right? Commits hundreds of thousands of US troops to South Vietnam, and then still the, the North Vietnamese Army and the Viet Cong launch the Tet Offensive. Johnson decides that this is a real problem for him, if only politically, in addition to for the security and reputation of the United States. What does he do? He doesn't run for re-election, retires to the LBJ ranch in Texas. Putin can't do that. He doesn't have that option. That system he's in that he's constructed won't allow that to happen. He won't survive that. 